Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So today I want to go over my FS Realistic profile for the PMDG Boeing 737-700. I have just uploaded it into the profile cloud so you should be available to download it right from within the app in a matter of minutes from the release of this video. So. This is a version 0.1, so it's more or less the first beta. I am going to fine-tune this while time passes by, but let's start with what we have at the moment. And I'll quickly guide you through the options and why I've chosen what I've chosen. So, airframe wind. That is something in the 737 you just can't apply as strong of a control input that you would actually hear a difference in the wind sound, at least not without the aircraft falling apart, so I have disabled this. Auto speed brake. The speed brake lever may be auto deployed in some aircraft. This effect adds realistic sound to it. PMDG included their own sound, so we won't need this. Blade slapping. That's for helicopters only. Brakes. You are not going to hear the brakes squeaking in a Boeing 737. That just doesn't happen on the airplane. Breathing. Yeah, that's something I like. Just having everything move around a little bit that shows you some of the third dimension on your two-dimensional screen. So I like this one. I have it enabled. Cabin ambience. You aren't going to hear the passengers when the flight deck door is closed. Easy as that. Clear prop. Well, not applicable. Co cockpit ambience. Now... I have enabled that one, but I am using a calm sound here since usually you really don't hear too much of it. The background in the 737 flight deck is just too loud, so all the cooling systems and the air conditioning, etc. Crash screaming. Yeah, why not? You have a colleague sitting in there after all, who may not be necessarily happy with what you're doing. Engine start. That's only for piston engines. Engine vibration. I've kept that on. Basically, you don't really see any vibration in the real airplane, but you do feel it. So, since the feeling part of things is missing in Flight Simulator, I've kept this one enabled. Flap drag. Nope, you don't hear any drag from the flaps. In fact, you don't hear anything from them in the cockpit. Flap lever. PMDG already has a sound applied to the lever. Flap stress. Well, I've never actually tried that for very obvious reasons in the real aircraft, but I thought it's a little nice to get some feedback from it when you are overstressing the flaps in the aircraft, so I've kept this on. Float splash doesn't apply. G-forces, I've turned them off because in the 737 you can't apply sufficient G-forces that you would actually noticeably change your point of view. Gear drag. That's vibrations and noises coming from the gear. Now, the noises are included in the PMDG 737 already, and you don't really feel vibrations from the gear in the real airplane. That's why I've turned them off. Ground effect. Well, the 737 got a very good noise isolation, so you aren't going to hear anything from the ground effect here. Keep in mind, this is only about reflecting the engine noise back from the runway surface here, and that just doesn't happen in a 737. You may be able to hear it back in the passenger cabin, I don't know about that, but certainly not in the flight deck. Ground roll, add some realistic rolling sounds to add to the experience. Yep, I've turned that on because you should hear a little bit more squeaking and everything in the aircraft. And you should also feel it when you're running over those lights. That's why I've kept it on. Landing applause. Now that is something you don't really hear in the flight deck. But if you're really, really here for it on a holiday flight, then you may be able to hear a little bit. So... I've just left it on, especially because I want those comments on my bad landings. Over G. Kept that on. Because it's always nice to get some feedback if you're mishandling the aircraft. Overspeed. I've never went into the overspeed with a 737. But nonetheless, I think it's nice to get some feedback there. Reverse thrust. Feel the power of your engines during reverse thrust. Yes, I'm most definitely going to keep that on, even though the sound is disabled because we have the sounds included in the PMDG 737. But I've kept a bit of movement on because you do definitely feel that rumble when you put your engines in reverse. Sneezing. I've turned it off because, honestly, 
A good pilot is not supposed to come to work when he's sick. Speed break drag. Now, that is something that I've kept on. Basically, when you pull the speed brake in the real airplane, you don't really hear them in the flight deck, but you definitely feel the rumble. And that's why I've just kept it on with the movement, but I've also kept on the sounds, just because it adds a little bit to that rumble feeling overall. Now, that's something... If you want 100% realism, you're going to turn those sounds off, but I kind of like them here. Stall buffered. I'm definitely keeping that on, because buffered onset is a stall indicator in the 737. Now, the stick shaker should pr save you from that a lot earlier on, but nonetheless, you know, um, if the stick shaker for whatever reason doesn't work, then the buffet is definitely what's going to make you aware of the impending stall. Stick shaker, turn it off because we have one simulated in the PMDG 737 itself. Toilet flush, now I'm actually going to keep this one on because you have the uh, front lavatory that's just behind the captain circuit breaker panel. And you definitely hear what's going on in there. You hear when someone's washing their hands. You hear when someone is flushing the toilet. You hear when someone's joining the Mile High Club. So I'm definitely going to keep that one on. Touch on front wheel and touch on main wheel. Kind of keep them both on. It's just nice to get a little bit of a feedback there. Even though you don't really hear the wheels touch down. But what you do hear in the 737 is all the, let's call them, not 100% fixed things in the lavatory, like the um, trolleys, for example, that are fixed in their position, but they can move a little bit. You will hear those rattling around when you uh, touch the aircraft down. So I thought, well, this is a nice effect. Similar with the touchdown of the front wheel. If you think your landing is finished after the main wheels are down and just let go of the control column, you are definitely going to hear the front wheel touch down. Or rather, slam into the runway. Turbulence. Kept it on because why not? It's always nice to get a little bit of feedback on uh, turbulence. Wheel well, that's turned off because the PMDG got its own sound included. Wind ambience. I switched it off because... I don't know, I just don't really like that effect, but that really comes down to personal preference. So if you like it, you can definitely turn it on. And windshield wind, that's turned off because the PMDG includes its own windshield wind effect already. Alright, that is pretty much it. Now you can easily access the profile by going to the profiles tab and then going into the profiles cloud. As said, I've just uploaded the profile, might take a little bit of time to process so it should be available in the next uh, hopefully a couple of minutes maybe a couple of uh, hours i don't know how long this is going to take if it's realistic nonetheless i hope you enjoyed this one and i hope that you actually like these settings now if you think something should be changed let me know in the comments below as said this is a version 0.1 it's the very first version i've done i'm going to upload updates as i get along flying with FS Realistic a little bit more and fine-tuning my settings. But until then, thank you very much for watching. Hope you liked the channel and I'm looking forward to see you all on the next video.